Imagine you are a Mercedes-Benz dealership. Every year, cars get more complex, increasing the amount of knowledge your technicians need to work on them. And if a car comes in for service, you bet customers want it back quickly. How Mixed Reality is helping technicians tap into global expertise and get cars back on the road up next on The Solution Show with Corey. Welcome to the show. Joining me today is Hector Garcia Teado. Tell us what you do at Microsoft, Hector. Hey, Corey, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm a principal group program manager here in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So essentially, my team is responsible for product strategy and execution for products like Remote Assist. That's awesome. Now, tell us a little bit about Mercedes-Benz and the problem that they faced. Yeah, that was a really fascinating problem and, and really tells a great example of how mixed reality can help customers today, right? So, you know, cars are getting super complex. Mercedes is a well-known luxury brand and they have a huge pledge into customer satisfaction. So what they wanted to do is they wanted to find a way to figure out if they're able to improve their operational efficiencies while improving customer service. So what they did for that is they partnered with us to figure out how could HoloLens and Dynamics 365 Remote Assist could help their technicians service cars faster through remote collaboration using mixed reality. Got it. So, so uh, tell me a little bit more about like what we actually did to help them and, and, and how did we approach this solution? Yeah. So like everything, we started with a small pilot in one of our few dealerships in Coral Gable, Florida. And what we did is we started showing the HoloLens device with remote assist to their service technicians, right? And we worked with them to do a couple of testings and turns out it was just a phenomenal way of collaborating for them because think about it, in the past, every time they had a problem that they didn't know how to figure out, they had to go to like offline mode, asynchronous communication through email, or, you know, like, I'll get back to you in the next appointment. And now with HoloLens and remote assist, they just have the remote specialist immediately there. Got it. So, so why, you know, when they, when they decided to go forward with remote assist and HoloLens, um, you know, what were some of the key aspects that really sort of made this land with the customer? Like why, why, why did Mercedes Benz, in addition to just solving this remote problem, like how did these things come together for them? Yeah, I think there were multiple things that were really important for them. First of all, the hands up heads free uh, capability of the HoloLens, right? The ability to be able to look at a problem with your hands free so you can still touch the car and point. Second, the fact that um, HoloLens is a full mixed reality device with full 3D capabilities. So not only you can be in hands up heads free, but you can actually see things as like diagrams in space, you can do annotations, and circles, arrows, so that the remote collaborator and the technician can better understand the problem. And then last but not least, super tight integration with Microsoft Teams, right? Like Microsoft Teams, as you know, is widely deployed in a lot of like uh, customers in the world. So remote assist natively integrates, so the remote collaborator doesn't need to have any special program. They're just in Teams picking up a call. Got it. So that combination of being able to work teams, uh, being able to have their hands completely free uh, with with HoloLens support, and then of course Remote Assist being able to make that connection uh, globally and be able to engage and and maybe even file work orders if things are broken. All of totally. that coming together with these products uh, kind of working totally. seamlessly. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, I I'd love to see actually a little bit. I think you've got a little bit of them actually using the solution. Uh, can we take a look at that? Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to go see now, it's essentially uh, a real use case of how they go about it in their Coral Gables facility. If that works for you. That'd be great. Let's take a look. All right, let's roll it. So now we're going to go see how a car that is being serviced is troubleshoot together by multiple specialists in a group call using Remote Assist and Teams. Hey, Edgar. Good afternoon. This is Andrew. How are you today? Andrew, I'm good. How are you doing? Good, man. Good to see you today. Hey, I have Cal on the line with me. We want to talk to you about this case that you opened, this MBX002. Yeah, let's talk about the case. So if I remember correctly, this vehicle in the case did have a harsh 3-2 downshift. Yeah, I think we may have to then take a look at the hardware and see if we can find any problems there. So um, let's take a a look at the um, at the valve body. No problem. All right. 
Okay. So, yeah, let me see. Okay, I think one of the pipe tubes is missing. So, um, yeah, I can, I can mark the location for you. Oh, okay, I see. All right. All right, Edgar, I'm pulling up my screen view now. So, um, can you see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, so let's take a look. So, part number uh, 130, that is the part which is missing right now. Oh, okay, I see it, I see it. Okay, yeah, once we order that and you install it, I think the um, vehicle should be uh, good to go. So, well, thank you for um, showing me around the vehicle and your good preparation. Okay, thank you. If anything, I'll give you Thanks, a Thanks, Edgar. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Hector. What an awesome video that was. And of course, it was remote engagement, which was really cool. But then I loved the 3D models. Uh, talk about a great way to work with your systems and work across your engineers. Tell me a little bit about what's the actual bottom line impact for Mercedes-Benz and what have they done with this now that they've uh, been able to achieve such cool results? Yeah, this is a great question. So they started a pilot, as I said, in select dealerships. And, you know, starting in September, they're rolling it out to all Mercedes-Benz USA uh, dealerships. So that means they're going to achieve great scale. Um, and it's kind of like really beneficial for them because on the one hand, it increases their operation efficiency by being able to reduce travel time of the experts, 35 to 40%. It also increases the number of cars that you're able to serve, right? So like really keeping that uh, resource scheduling and uh, really tight. But at the same time, by being able to, to serve cars faster, you increase customer satisfaction, right? Because, you know, for any uh, customer these days, keeping customer satisfaction is super important, more so in a super well-recognized brand like Mercedes. Yeah, absolutely. When customers bring their cars in, I'm sure that they want them out as quickly as possible. And so totally. anything that can help that will improve that satisfaction and get them to be able to sell more cars in the future. So it's uh, right. absolutely win-win on that. Um, Look, Hector, this has been awesome when it talks about the automotive industry and the impact it's had there in this great customer example. I, are there impact in other industries? Like, Where else are we seeing this usage of remote assist uh, across other industries? Yeah, absolutely. Like the remote collaboration slash, you know, uh, remote inspection scenario scenarios are, are really exploding across industry. I have some good examples. Like, for example, in the food industry, Arla Foods, um, is using remote assist with the HoloLens to collaborate with uh, their supply supply chain phone experts, right? Um, so they keep the supply chain up and running 24 cool. seven. Um, in the UK, the national health system in the healthcare, they're using remote assist uh, to fight COVID. So they can actually have a physician in the room with a COVID patient and a team of experts and physicians in this case, right? Nurses and residents, um, uh, trying to diagnose the problem better and being able to see the x-rays in real time in the HoloLens and assist them. Another example is in the manufacturing industry with ABB, which is based in Western, Western Europe. And they're using remote assist for remote inspections of their you know, facilities. And there are many others, right, Core? Like think about, for example, telecommunications when you want to troubleshoot, you know, what's happening to your to your cable box or your internet. We're starting to see that also scenarios with end customers. So customers can join uh, a remote assist session directly without having to be technician to technician. Um, so across the board, this is really good. And one thing that I particularly really like about this is, you know, we're helping um, users that have been traditionally underserved by technology, like service technicians, like frontline workers, et cetera. So this to me is a really good example of how, you know, Microsoft is helping companies really achieve more with new tools. It's just fantastic. And, you know, in this era of remote everything, uh, this is not just a way to save money. Um, and certainly it does save money uh, by reducing the amount of trips but it actually allows new solutions. It allows uh, new challenges to be solved uh, using new capabilities uh, that you walk through, sometimes generating new revenue or sometimes helping people in a new way. Thank you so much, Hector. Uh, I just, I really appreciate the time. 
for folks who are looking for more information or actually want to dig into some of the ROI potential uh, for what this can save you, uh, you can find here in the notes below. Um, and with that, thank you so much for joining us here on The Solution Show with Corey. And thank you, Hector, for your time. Thank you for having me, Corey, anytime. Bye-bye.